I'm traveling to the future. It's a terrible, terrible place. JK, it's actually a lot of fun. Hi, what's up, dudes and dude, it's in the air now. My name's Anthony. We are back again for another true. Hi, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful today. Hope this video makes your day even better. Yeah! Totally did it. Hanging out here in Team Pixel 5, and we're gonna grind. Ugh, I don't like the water world as much as I like the air world. Not to mention, Scythebu got a few updates as far as my power is concerned. And uh, it's it's very exciting, everybody. I do gotta say. But before we end up starting, shout out to Chronozilla as well as a bunch of other people. Uh, who is it? Novier and Another random person that I don't really remember who did it. I'm sorry to say that I don't remember everybody because I don't seem to have it on a piece of paper, but we're going to be giving away zero line wings, an Arcanium Crawler, and a Gadget Cat. So if you want any of them, you're going to have to duke in the like button, be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username, and if you win, Scarlet the Spider will reply to your YouTube comment. And then you just got to catch me in game and stuff like that. I got to start getting in a habit of saying that because otherwise everybody's always like, what? How do I know if I won? Yeah, that's how everybody sounds whenever they win a prize, too. So for today, it's a little bit exciting, everybody. I want to hopefully be able to show you in this dungeon if it doesn't end up glitching up on us. But Scythepoo's got some strength to him. Yes. Although Ultra Shadow Towers is where the real strength is concerned. <laughs> it didn't work! Oh, well, needless to say, well, no, I'm not gonna spoil it. We just have to get it on the next boss, okay? But behind the scenes, I've been busy because this latest patch has actually been an amazing one. Really affected myself and a lot of other late game players and people that end up getting patron and stuff like that. Fantastic update. I'm really fingers crossed hoping that they're not going to end up uh, nerfing the shadow drop rates and stuff like that. I don't think they will. Uh, I did kind of briefly talk about this in my patch video, but I don't think that they're going to end up nerfing the drop rates this time. What is with that? Because pretty much just here's a little bit of a short story, everybody. So the drop rates, what they are now, which anybody who's got patron knows, like you've been getting uh, radiance, you've been getting stellars all over the place and stuff like that. Uh, this is pretty much what the drop rates used to be, if not a little bit better. The only difference is that now you have to pay for it because you gotta pay for patron, right? And because of that, that's why I don't think they're gonna nerf it. Oh, come on! I'm gonna spend the entire stupid episode just trying to get my ult to actually work on one of these losers. <laughs> just so I can show you all what I'm so excited about. Come on! Jeez Louise. Oh, by the way, uh, you know those new dragons that came out? They're actually just part of... Uh, there's going to be a bunch of new dragons coming out. Uh, like, not just the three that just came out. They're kind of going to be doing it over the course of a couple updates. There's a few other dragons, like a pirate dragon, a weird fishy type dragon and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, great. Well, anyways, hopefully we'll be able to... You know what? No. I'm going to skip these dungeons. I was about to spoil the secret. Actually, I just realized now that it's not a secret because the title of the video already says it. But yeah, max damage. <laughs> yep, thanks to the power of my gems, if I could ever get it to happen. Maximum damage, although you can't really see it through the stupid wall. <laughs> but I'll take it, okay? I'm satisfied. So max damage in this game is pretty much 1 billion because it's 999 million. And uh, for the longest time, as I was fighting dungeons and stuff like that, Thanks, game. By the way, that's another thing that came with this update. Uh, although this update is beautiful, unfortunately, it added a lot more lag to the servers. And these kill 30 enemy dungeons suck because it takes 50 years for them to spawn now. These dungeons take so long to finish. I really wish that they would remove like the option for it to be 30 enemies and lower it all to 10 because every other dungeon takes the same amount of time. Like it's ridiculous. But anyway, I I'm not trying to sound like a negative nan complaining scythe poo today I, I'm just kind of voicing my opinion about some of this stuff and letting you know uh, just out of experience because now it's a couple more days into the week as to what's actually 
actually been going on with the patch and everything like that. But yeah, so needless to say, um, I've actually got almost all of my gems have been maxed out. Almost all of them, folks. Mostly thanks to the fact that, you know, because of the uh, gem box karma, because it means for people that use Patron, you open 35 box, uh, gem boxes and you get a stellar gem, as opposed to people that don't have Patron, open 70. Now, I've gotten garbage for gems, yes, but at least it means that I've been getting a lot more gem dust. And although a lot of it has been a waste on the imaginary uh, gem karma bar, I have actually been lucky enough to level up a couple of my gems. Hopefully we'll get a nice drop today as well, just because because sometimes you could get lucky. The first day of the patch, I actually ended up getting uh, two Radiants, and in average, I've actually been getting like maybe a Radiant a day, which is very, very nice, because now Pentas are down in price like crazy, and Radiant Souls are also down in price like crazy, which means that it's a lot more accessible for new players to buy their way to the end game with in-game currency and stuff like that, which is fantastic. I love it. Uh, it's just amazing, you know? Max damage? Ah, I did max damage to his friend. He couldn't even scream for help because he was sent into another dimension. Rash. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, needless to say, everybody, it's just been... I, I've been having a blast, you know, since this update. I've been actually able to grind again because, honestly speaking, I was not able to grind for the longest time. Very discouraged towards it. That's why I have been on Trove, yes, but I haven't really been grinding or anything like that up until they ended up putting this buff out, which is fantastic because it really it makes the game like playable and stuff. I don't know if you all can hear it. What's with this lag? It's atrocious today. My goodness. Is it a dragon challenge time? No, it most certainly is not. I will destroy you. Eee! I like hiding in the corner because these kills are the enemies. Like, jeez Louise. It's insane. Now, oh, I, I, keep, I, I keep forgetting. I keep thinking about it, and then I keep forgetting to do it in the middle of a dungeon. I want to show you all my gems. I want to show you the ones that I got. I, I haven't really changed any of my gems, folks. I'm still rocking the same ones that I've shown off in a couple other episodes. But if you're just tuning in or if you missed that episode, uh, I want to show you what I've actually been rocking. Not to mention the fact that they're almost all maxed out. That's the biggest thing. So here's my water gem. It sucks, but it's stellar and gives me insane power rank. I really, really want a better water gem. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next week's update because next week's update, you're going to be able to deconstruct empowered gems. I think it's like 10 of them to get one stellar, which is pretty bad, but at least there's a way of doing that, you know? And essentially you can get like 10 empowered boxes a week. So that's a pretty good trade off, I would say, to get one guaranteed stellar outside of all the other good stuff that you can get. Here's my other water gems. This one's actually a perfect roll. Not the best stats, as you can see, even that crit damage, absolute garbage, but the crit hit, 11% and it's at level 23. That's insane. Hopefully that'll boost up to 15%. Uh, then there's this one, which has health regen, which pff, that sucks, but the crit damage is absolutely insane. Uh, and the crit hit is pretty good. Here's my uh, air gem, which is not ideal, but it's got a lot of physical damage. That's actually not too bad. It's only a radiant one though. I don't even have a stellar one to save my life. It doesn't even give a thousand PR. That's insane. Even with the stupid health regen. Then there's this one, uh, both my air gems, I'm really fortunate it and got a lucky roll with both of them because they're both perfect. This one's actually not too bad. I don't know. I wish that there was a way to tell if a high level gem was still a two star gem because I don't know uh, since it's been so long since I got this gem. I'm pretty sure this is just a one star that ended up just getting ideal stats after a couple levels. But this one, I'm pretty sure is a two star. That's why it's so beautiful, which I mean, look at that. That's just crazy. It's got insane stats on it. Like, man alive, that's a real good one. And it's got one level to go. My fire gems are all maxed out. Uh, the hit and the damage, not really ideal. And it's got the max health. So I am going to try and see if I can get a better uh, fire gem. Honestly, I didn't even think that this one was like that, but that's pretty good crit damage and crit hit both combined. I would love to swap out that max health though. And then this one's got max health, but look at that physical damage. That is absolutely insane. Uh, and then 
just my class gym is the same as it's been since day one where it's got crit damage and crit hit and max health. So I'm satisfied with my gems most definitely, but yeah, for sure it's, it's just, you know, uh, it's all about luck, right? So I haven't had any luck with any of the gem boxes and stuff like that, but I also haven't had any luck with all of these uh, boxes or anything like that. And by the way, this is a bug that I'm sure they're gonna end up probably fixing next patch. Max damage. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's so satisfying. Uh, by the way, if you're getting like a little carried away with my power, all my gems are almost maxed out, not to mention the fact that I'm pretty weak in Shadow Towers. It's not really as ideal as uh, Neon Ninja and stuff because Dupless, who's been renamed to Merc, Merc underscore, uh, he's actually got very similar stats and gems and stuff like that to me. Uh, however, he's just got like a little bit better roll. I'm pretty sure he's got like two stellar gems that are really good ones and stuff. But needless to say, he's very, very close to the same gems that I've got. However, his are just a little bit better. And needless to say, he's playing me on Ninja. He means that and he's a lot stronger than me uh, as the Shadow Hunter because like I've said before, and I'll say it again, I just want to get this point across just because. Um, the Neon Ninja's uh, right click, like his shuriken, he can cast that every three attacks, and it does, I think it's like, what? So he said it's like half of what my ultimate does, like 600 mil or something like that. So after two shurikens, which he can cast in rapid succession, much faster than we can cast our ultimate, Neon Ninja takes it, man. I mean, we've got our machine gun, which is nice, but we're not even at like one mil for each of our shots, which some of the other shadow hunters actually do have that, which is very, very nice. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could get to that type of a power level. Uh, but anyways, before we end up calling it for today, Hello, gigantic spider. Hey, Shelob! No! I want to clear this dungeon, hopefully see a good drop. Where's the, where's the boss? Oh, it's this ivory beetle thing. Max damage! Nice! What is this? Shadow 1. Ew! I've been getting such garbage drops lately. But, let's see whether or not we end up getting lucky on these gem boxes. Will we end up getting something good? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was the bug that I was going to talk about is it's not actually the day where you get the 50% like I I'm actually recording this on Thursday. Now you see my YouTube life. I have to record these episodes a couple days in advance so that I have time to keep up with all the other things, right? Uh, but anyway, on Wednesday, it's 50% chance to get the black universal j shadow gem boxes, even in elemental worlds. And as you saw right there, we're still getting them and it's not Wednesday. So that's just extra gem dust. So Poo has been trying to grind as much as I can. Can we get a good gem? Ew, it doesn't even have one star in it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hopefully we'll be able to get something else. Come on. Ah, GG. Well, anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Do not forget to hook in the like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. Sign or and stay epic, everybody. Only